everyone. It's National Pet ID Week and pets are family. So a great way to keep them safe is just to be sure that they can easily be found and easily identified if they get lost. Yeah, you know how many pets end up at the animal shelter because we can't identify them. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley joins us live from Sunset Park with some of the ways to make sure your pet is properly ID'd. Good morning, and I actually have my little family member here with me. Everyone meet Toulouse. This is my dog, and my husband and I rescued him here in Las Vegas shortly after we moved here about a year and a half ago. And he's actually a very good example of why it's so important to make sure your pet is easily identifiable. We're told he was actually just found wandering the streets of Las Vegas. He had no tags, no microchip, and no way to find where he belongs. So one of the easiest ways to get your pet identified is to get them a tag. Uh, ours has his name, our phone number. It also has his rabies vaccine tag on there, but it's so easy. This can just fall off. So you also want to try to get a little more of a permanent way to get them identifiable. And a lot of vets and animal shelters recommend getting your pet microchipped. I'm told it's relatively easy and mostly painless. It's much like a vaccine. They take a needle and they just take a little bit of loose skin and they inject that microchip right under the skin of your dog. And that microchip has a unique number, a unique ID number that is connected to you. So if say Toulouse were ever to wander off and he were picked up by an animal shelter, they could scan him and he has a microchip so they could easily then call us and find us and get us back to him. So most vets will do microchipping. If you get a rescue like I did, he came or he's <laughs> noticing some birds around me. Um, but most vets will do it. Uh, rescues will come with a microchip. Also, Animal Foundation is having a promotion right now, and they will microchip your pet for just $10 through the 25th. <laughs> He's getting a little restless, so I think <laughs> I'm going to take him to maybe go walk around. Reporting live <laughs> from Sunset Park in Henderson, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13, Action News. Excellent. $10.